Starring Latoya Luckett, I thought my husband's wife it was dead. <laughs> These titles. It starts off complicated and intriguing, but unfortunately, as it has to answer questions, it devolves into your usual over-the-top and messy drama. So to summarize the film, it has been about five years since Vicky was pronounced. No, it's been about five years since Vicky went missing, and maybe about three years or so since she was pronounced dead. I think I got that right. But either way, during that time, her husband, Leo, has used her father's savings from when he inherited when the dad died. He had a life insurance policy out on her that got him a nice piece of change. And now he's living well. He's living well to the point where if you didn't know better, you would think that after Vicky died, he suddenly became a football star because of his build, the way his life looks. But the fact of the matter is, he's going broke because he decided to remarry and he married a woman named Layla who isn't an other gold digger but she is a woman of finer taste and through this restaurant that she has called the Chameleon she has definitely put a strain on Leo's pockets so with Vicky coming back into their life asking for help since Leo's the only family she has at this point it becomes a very challenging thing for Leo to want to and have to help Vicky because if people discover that she's alive, that can mean insurance fraud amongst other things. But at the same time, he's now married to Layla, and yes, Layla is creating a big hole in his pocket, but he married her, committed to her, about to have a kid, so he's torn between his former life, which was far more happy, to be honest with you, and in his new life, which is challenging, but it's something he's already committed to. So again, to the B section, the main highlight when it comes to this movie is that you can feel very torn about how to feel about Vicky coming back in Leo's life. Poor, in the beginning, it's definitely pushed that something happened to Vicky's kidnapped, assaulted, trapped for years, and now she's popping back up. And even if Leo's not happy with his new life, or that is new wife to a certain degree, he's still committed to making it work. They're having a kid, so you can see they're trying to keep the relationship going. Yet Vicky is this person who he didn't divorce, he wasn't separated from, she just disappeared. And while he looked for her and wanted to get her back, it was to no avail because he couldn't find her. And with that in mind, it really makes it difficult to be on somebody's side. And yes, Layla's a piece of work. But at the same time, this isn't like a lot of Christmas movies where they push Layla to be like the absolute worst, where Leo should cheat on her to be with Vicky and all this. It doesn't really do that. It's instead really wants you to recognize Leo's faults, Layla's faults, and even though, generally speaking, it doesn't really give Vicky a lot of flaws, at the same time, you recognize that just because she's not coming off human right now, it's probably because she's in a very vulnerable spot where she can't really catch too much of an attitude. She can't do a lot of pushing back because she's reliant on Leo and Layla's generosity, kindness, being able to blackmail them in order to keep some type of life going until she can finally stand on her own. So with that in mind, it makes everything up to a certain point a little bit more complicated than expected, but eventually things become pretty much as how you expect a film like this to go. So getting to the on offense pop topics, <sighs> the first one is that when it comes to Vicky's escape and her recovery journey, it's hard to not feel a little bit torn about this film, sometimes feeling a little bit rushed. Because when Vicky is trying to get back into Leo's life, that's when she learns that Leo remarried and then she can't get back into the house so she's kind of on the street. And that's when she meets a woman named Karen who allows her to work in her salon and you can see a friendship that could build there, but the film unfortunately doesn't get to tap into that. It also doesn't get to tap into Gina, who's very suspicious of Vicky, in having her potentially investigate and do all that. Instead, Gina's introduced, it's noted that she doesn't trust and she thinks that Vicky's sus, 
and then Gina disappears like she got fired for saying that. And it's kind of weird because she's played by Black China, so it's not like she's some random person or actor. She's a notable figure who, granted, is not like a huge A-list star, but I feel like Black China has been rather consistent in her movies to the point where having her appear and then writing her off like some type of stunt casting, I feel like she's a bit beyond that, but maybe that's just my opinion. That said, alongside Trina, <laughs> alongside Karen and Gina, there's also Mark who, yes, raises a lot of red flags, but at the same time, he has feelings for Vicky. He works at Layla's restaurant and seems to be knowledgeable about what's going on between her and Leo. And it just feels like rather than this be an hour and 27 minute movie, this could have easily been like a free four maybe five episode miniseries to really go into all these different relationships that are presented for Vicky. Never mind going to Vicky's life and who she is so that, as we talked about in the highlights, rather than just being this perfect girl who's kind of defensive and can't really push back and all that, maybe they could have showed us some of her flaws, showed us some of her less glamorous or attractive side. But with all that said, at a certain point, the potential and the trajectory of this film goes downhill and that's because it pretty much decides to do what we usually see where there's one character who's been hiding there crazy to a certain degree they decide to just all out kitchen sink it and then it just becomes a wild crazy downhill that granted like going on a roller coaster is very thrilling to go downhill but then when you hit rock bottom you're just like looking up where you was like <laughs> things were so much better up there but it's not so bad that you're gonna just say this movie was trash but I still feel like it's one of those situations similar to what happened with Trap where there was a decent premise a good build but then when there was answers that had to be given to the audience because things were getting to that point where you couldn't just duck and dodge anymore there was no ability to do follow through and take this to somewhere where it could have kept up the quality that was going thus far but overall when it comes to I thought my husband's wife was dead again beginning middle created a very engaging story but unfortunately it was unable to stick the landing and it went from morally gray and complicated to pursuing an easy, an easy exit so that it can finish off quickly.